Modern Gamer Super Number One Happy Channel for Gamer Number One. Hey guys, Monkey from Board Game here, and here today helping you with the Star Citizen, how to get it all working with Vorpix on the Oculus Rift DK2. So I'm just going to give you the settings that I used to get it working, and I'll put some more troubleshooting tips down in the description. So first off, you just want to make a folder with uh, the Vorpix Start and Star Citizen and anything else you might need um, on your desktop, um, because you're going to be using this folder a lot. So literally for this one, it's just Star Citizen and Vorpix in that folder. Um, you want to make sure that your Rift is an extended mode. So to do that, go into Rift Display Mode, um, Extended Mode, and uh, Close. Boom. Um, really simple. Uh, you want to run Vorpix, so wherever Vorpix is, it's in this folder. Um, run that bad boy. Um, now in Vorpix, you want to configure Vorpix. Uh, and just make sure that you've got Expert Settings enabled, uh, Disabled Arrow on, and never use an Oculus Profile because it bugs the hell out. Um, and do not enable head tracking roll at the moment because it's a bit buggy um, but just enable normal head tracking um, also you want to go into excluded programs and you want to add anything that might interfere so you literally want to exclude programs like Steam, Mumble, um, Skype uh, anything that's not a game that you're going to be running because um, a lot of stuff interferes with Vorpix running and tries to hook to it um, including like uh, Media Player will try and hook to it um, loads of stuff. Uh, Windows Movie Maker, so make sure that's disabled also. And when you're all ready with that, apply and close. If you right click on your desktop, you just want to make sure that before you're running everything that your Rift is your main display. So literally click on the Rift, um, take main display, uh, make sure it's offset diagonally to your main monitor and that it's in portrait mode also. Um, if it's long like landscape, that is bad, that is naughty, you want it in portrait, and you want it diagonally offset. This is so that your mouse doesn't leave the borders um, of the uh, rift. And um, sometimes you can actually be clicking on your desktop when you're playing on the Oculus, um, which is bad. Once that's all done, guys, you just want to run Star Citizen. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Um, and you can use the shortcut Windows key Shift and left or right arrow to move that uh, window to the Oculus or to your main screen. Other great shortcut to know is Alt Enter will make stuff full screen or uh, windowed mode. Absolutely great. Um, so literally just log into your account. Once you've all logged in, this will happen. Bing. So once you've loaded into the game, you'll have this lovely screen. Um, now, unfortunately, because I have to Alt Tab to start recording, um, it's unhooked my mouse, which is bloody annoying. Um, so it's quite hard for me to record at the moment and do Star Citizen videos. So, once you're in game, guys, uh, what you want to do is you're going to press Dell. Uh, that will enable the Vorpix menu. We'll start you off on this one. Um, you just want to ignore the main page. You want to go straight to display. You want to change it to letterbox one mode. Um, and you want to zoom out to 0 0.85. Um, you want to leave everything else the same other than the, um, interper the IPD. Let's call it that. Um, so, you want to put your rift on. And you want to change this until it feels good for your eyes. This is literally, it will offset the image so that it's good for your eyes. And you want to mess around with that. Mine's about 63. Um, yours will be different because you have different eyes to me. Um, if you have colour bleeding uh, and it looks like an old school 3D image, um, you want to click on fix um, aberration here. Um, this will make recordings look blurry and colour bleedy. Um, but should make your Oculus Rift look a lot better. Um, again, that's down to preference of setting. Um, and shader anti-aliasing. Now, I turn this on all the time because it seems to smooth the lines and makes everything look a little bit better. Um, but that's, again, down to personal preference. Um, and to go to input, you want to change the head tracking down to about 0 0.8. Um, and you want to turn the head tracking smoothing off. Um, and then OK and save. And then your experience for Star Citizen is ready. Um, if you want a high amount of frames, you want to change uh, your options uh, to high rather than very high. Uh, as you can see here, I'm actually running in uh, windowed mode. That's so I can record. Now, uh, Vorpix has a problem that you can't record game capture in OBS. Uh, you have to record as either monitor capture um, or window capture. Um, and in, in window capture, it unhooks your mouse. So unfortunately, at the moment, my mouse is unhooked. Um, so I can't control my mouse in the game. Thanks very much, guys. That's the basics of, of getting it all working. I hope that helps. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Oh, one other major important thing. Um, for a better setup for your Oculus, 
check out my videos, uh, set up basics and set up advanced uh, and set up refresh rates. Uh, that should get your Oculus and games looking a lot better as well. Thank you very much, guys.